Well, is the latest craze in American culture atheism? Mm. A book titled The God Delusion is on the bestseller list right now, and celebrities like George Clooney and Angelina Jolie are declaring their lack of belief in God. Fox News contributor Father Jonathan Morris gives us the lowdown on this new trend. And good afternoon, Father Jonathan. Good afternoon. I must clarify, I am not the Catholic priest that was arrested with Jesse Jackson. I am a free man. Now, at least for the and you're in Rome. That's a huge relief to us. I am in Rome. I am in Rome. Yes, the, the, the whole issue here of this fad of, of these books about atheism, I think we have to make a distinction here. I don't think there's a fad in atheism in the general public. What we see is a fad in publishing companies putting out books by very, uh, very outspoken atheists who are going beyond scientific, uh, their scientific uh, field and saying there is not a God. And people like me, quite honestly, are buying those books to see what is it that makes these, these people's minds tick. So I don't think there's a shrewd fad for atheism. Well, you know, are you, are you saying that you're buying those books for the sake of understanding their argument so that you can challenge them on the point, is, is there a God or is there not a God? Well, I'm not interested in confronting them so much as I'm interested, you know, I have a lot of atheist friends and I, they really suffer their atheism, I would say. In other words, they, they suffer the fact that they don't believe because they know that the world makes a whole lot more sense if God does exist. But these, on the other hand, people like Richard Dawkins, are not these people who are suffering their atheism. They're pushing their ideas on the general public and saying, we who do believe are silly, we have, we have no common sense, and they are the only elite who know what they're talking about. When I look out at creation, I see this is not blind faith. I mean, how do we explain the intricacy, for example, of a human eye? How do we explain the incredible, um, inc incredible geological uh, reality out there? Sure. If the way a... I look at it is there's more probability for a divine architect than anything else. Yeah, and, and especially uh, the birth of a child and, and mm -hmm. that whole miracle of pregnancy, that'll, that'll change a lot of people's minds. Um, Father, when you look at that 90% of Americans believe in God, which I found very encouraging, wh why is it that there is this sort of posturing in the media of atheists as the intellectuals? Uh, great question. You know what? Um, if there's a fad towards these atheistic books, there's a pattern of religious belief, and it goes back thousands of years. And that pattern is continuing with, as you say, 90% of Americans. Now, how would you get 90% of Americans to agree on any single issue whatsoever? The fact that we agree or that we believe that, that God does exist says something. And I think those who are, you know, atheism has always existed. But I think we have to say atheists, and if they're talking about science, need to talk about it from a scientific point of view and not go beyond that and say, because I can't prove God as if I, can't, if I should be able to see him in a, in a, in a uh, microscope or in a telescope, then he doesn't exist. That's going beyond science. That's bad science, and we need to hold them to their specific field. Father Jonathan Morris, I want to ask you one other question that departs from the, uh, sure. the discussion of atheism, and that is that the Vatican has put out a new uh, set of Ten Commandments. This time, it's geared towards drivers. <laughs> what do you think about the driving right. Ten Commandments? Well, Right. Well, it's a little bit of tongue-in-cheek, but, you know, because most documents coming out of the Vatican are much more staid, much more formal. And I think the Vatican, this department of the Vatican, which was not the Pope, it was the department, was trying to step out and say, you know what, 1.2 million people die on the roads every year, and 50 million are injured. And many of those based on human negligence. And so all of a sudden it's becoming a very much Father, a moral issue. I'm, if you're, if you're okay. tech messaging, you're putting your makeup on and all the rest, you're putting people in danger. Good advice. And we'll leave it there. Thank you very much, sir. Father Donald. Okay.